Hi, it's Sam Tober, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we're going to share with you some of the opening chords in the Kirk Franklin song, You're the Reason Why I Sing. D flat, let's do our scales. Two octaves always, let's go down. And our Nashville chords, one, two, three, four, oops, there it is, five, six, seven, and octave one or eight, if you want to do octave eight or one, back down, major, diminished, minor, minor, excuse me, major, I got to look at it, major, minor, minor, major. No, as you can see, I'm, proud, I'm I'm excited about teaching this lesson because it's going to help in, enhance some of these series where I'm covering building your gospel chord foundation. Now, if you've listened to the actual recording, you hear a lot of basic chords. Now, I can't play them all because I want to make sure that I fool the YouTube algorithm. So if I'm talking a lot, that's why. Slowing it down. Now let me stop right there. So for those who like to use the number system, there's the one. Four, two major, five, seven, three, six, two, five, one. So as you're looking at this chord, what you're looking for is the movement and how the chords are being supported by the bass note. And this is one of the cases where I'll say the bass note is determining the tone of the chord. Let's go a little higher. that note. Changing the tones just a little bit, slowing it down so that you can see this is where you're getting to build your chords to support other songs. I'm slowing it down. Change the chord a little bit. Walk it up. Now here are the other changes. Six, two, five, one, four, five, one, four, five, one, four. Two, five, one, six, two, five, one. I'm I'm relying on the bass to to keep me in the right number. Five, one, four, five, one, four, six. See that change. Two, five, 
And that is really is the entire song. Now, of course, I got to be careful with that uh, that much, and I'm talking through it, as you can probably see. Pardon me, so that the YouTube algorithm doesn't come after me. But look at the chords and how simplified they are. They they are spaced out. full chords there's no real mystery to gospel music once you understand the actual form uh, formulas being used a lot of those chords are in the Nashville system they've just been ex ex expanded out same chords, just stretched out, which is why I say as you train your ears practicing scales, you'll be able to hear notes all over the keyboard as you search for how you want to attach it. So I'm able to hear every bit of any song that I'm actually breaking down for you, my viewers, and those who are who want to become more proficient in understanding that sound that gospel music has, not just in the era of the traditional gospel music, but as it began to evolve. Um, if I was going to touch on one of the earlier praise songs, yeah. presence of the Lord. Same chords. There's a chord. Same chords just applied differently. So once you know the formula, the formula is the Nashville chord system designated chords, and then you begin to bridge out and find the other associated chords, not just glumped in one area like this, but when you stretch them out, that they say drop to, and you find within the context of the scales, how you want to associate a chord with it. That's all I'm going to give you. I'm sure I'm going to get notified on this one, but I had to share that with you. Sam Tolbert, Sound of Joy Music Services. We're looking to help every musician build their gospel chord foundation. See you on the next video. Take care.